Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. You are probably aware of the fact that Microsoft is moving away from the Dynamics 365 mobile app uh, called Xamarin. This is the app that's actually built on the RESCO platform. The direction is now to go with the Dynamics 365 model-driven mobile application. The, the problem was in the past that there were still a lot of features that worked in the RESCO app and that you could configure in the RESCO or Xamarin app that were not yet available in the new model-driven app. Well, a lot of those features are actually coming to the model-driven app and this video is going to be about how you can enable reporting in the field service model-driven app. In order to get this functionality, you will need to download the solution and then install that on your instance. So I'm actually going to drop the link to where you can download the solution uh, in the comment section of this video. So let's go ahead. You can see here I have the field service reporting managed.zip. And there's also here you can see field service mobile report PCF. There is a PCF control. Um, that you can configure, you can change basically, right? Which has the report in there. So I'll give you the link to that as well. But first, let's go ahead and import this solution. So I'm going to click here on import. And I'm going to choose that solution file, which is this second one here, the field service reporting manage.zip. And I'm going to go ahead and import that. So that's going to take a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video so you don't have to wait for this. And that is it. I'm just going to go ahead and close this and let me refresh and you can see here this is that solution that we just imported so let me go ahead and open that so here you can see some of these things that have been added right if I open up the bookable resource booking you'll see that there is now a reporting form that has been added. And then there's also here, in addition to the site map, that's going to be a button that allows you to click to run the report. And then here's a web resource as well. All right. So now that we've imported these components, obviously we need to add those components as well to the mobile app. So let's just go ahead here and I'm going to go here to apps. And I'm looking for my field service mobile app. Let me open that in the app designer. So we're going to add that form that we just set, saw. So I'm going to go to bookable resource booking. And here are my forms. So here is the reporting form that you just saw. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to publish that. And once you're done with that, you can check it out in the app. Okay, so now let's take a look 
at that experience in the mobile application. So I'm going to go here and open my field service app. And let's navigate here to bookings. And here we see a booking for today. And you can see here the service details. I have some tasks here. I have some products that are used and an expense item in here as well, which is nothing more than just a product. And here's some customer details. Right, so if I want to run that report, I can just go ahead and change, as you can see here, the form, which will take me to the report or, and this is also what is part of that solution. You can see here that report button. And when I click on that, that also opens right that same form now as you can see on the bottom here it says save report and if I do that it actually creates a note and you can see that here up top report saved to the timeline so when we go to the timeline you see here now that a note was attached to the bookable resource booking and we can access that report as well I'm still waiting for a button that allows us to attach that report to an email so we can send it to the customer but obviously that's not here yet might be a good idea to, to add that but if I want to go ahead and click on that you can see here here's my PDF and obviously from here I can go ahead and I can email that I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit that like button be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss another video Thanks so much for watching and have a great day, everyone.